Next we will see the elastic collision in one dimension. This collision is also called as perfectly elastic collision. So in this collision, we will find out the velocities of the bodies before the collision and after the collision and the ratios of their restitutions. So let us take two bodies. This body has mass m1, initially moving with the velocity u1. In the opposite direction, take another body of mass m2, initially moving with velocity u2. They both are traveling relative to each other. At any one point of the time, they both will collide with each other. So, collision takes place like this. After the collision took place, they both will separate because it is an elastic collision. They will regain the state and they will move with the different velocities in the same path in the opposite direction. So after that, this M1 will move with velocity V1 as well as M2 will move with velocity V2. So what we can understand from this? In elastic collisions, kinetic energy will be conserved as well as momentum will be conserved. So, according to the law of conservation of momentum, Net momentum before collision is equal to net momentum after collision. So net momentum after collision. So the momentum, net momentum before collision is equal to m1 u1 plus m2 u2 is equal to this one is m1 v1 plus m2 v2. So I am bringing the all m1s to one side and all m2s to another side. So therefore it is m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. Let us say this is equation 1. So, the another physical quantity that is conserved in this collision is kinetic energy. So, according to law of conservation of kinetic energy or energy, half m1 u1 square plus half m2 u2 square is equal to half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square. So all sides half is common. So the equation will change m1 u1 square is plus m2 u2 square is equal to m1 v1 square plus m2 v2 square. So I am bringing all m1s to one side and all m2s to other side. So this will be m1 into u1 square minus v1 square is equal to m2 into v2 square minus u2 square. Let us say this is equation 2. 
We have the equation 1 m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. This is equation 2. So, we are dividing the equation 2 by equation 1. Dividing the equation 2 with equation 1. So, therefore, m1 into u1 square minus v1 square is equal to m2 into v2 square minus u2 square whole divided by m1 into u1 minus u1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. So, m1 m1 get cancelled m2 m2 get cancelled. So, we can write that is equal to therefore, it will be u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2. This is equation 3. Now, we can change these equations to v1 and v2 and we should substitute these v1 and v2 in any one of the equation whether it is equation 1 or equation 2 or equation 3 we will get the different answers. So, it is u1 plus v1 is equal to v2 plus u2. So, from this we can write v1 is equal to v2 plus u2 minus u1. This is one equation. Let us say this is equation 4. And second one, v2 is equal to u1 minus u2 plus v1. This is equation 5. Now, I am substituting the value of e v1 from equation 4 in equation 1. So, what is the equation 1? m1 into u1 minus v1 is equal to m2 into v2 minus u2. I am substituting this v1 value from equation 4. Substitute equation 4 in equation 1. So, therefore, it is m1 into u1 minus what is v1? v2 plus u2 minus u1 is equal to what is m2 v2 minus m2 u2 means we do the expansion. So, it is suppose m1 u1 minus m1 v2 minus m1 u2 minus m1 u1 is equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2. So, we have substituted the value of v1 we should get the answer of v2. So, we are bringing all v2s to one side, all u2s to another side. So, what we can write m1 u1 minus m1 u1. So, we can this is m1 u1 minus of minus plus. So, this will be plus. So, therefore, m1 u1 plus m1 u1 it will be 2 m1 u1. minus m1 v2 minus m1 v2 is equal to m2 v2 minus m2 v2. So, I am writing the same equation at the top 2 m1 u1 minus m1 v2 minus m1 u2 is equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2. So, 2 m1 u1 I am bringing this I am um, this m2 u2 is minus. So, this minus m2 u2 is coming to this side this minus m1 u2 is going to this side just we are exchanging the terms. So, this will be 2 m1 u1 minus m1 u2 plus m2 u2 is equal to m2 v2 plus m1 v2. So, 2 m1 u1 here we can take common u2 m2 
minus m1 is equal to v2 into m1 plus m2. So, bringing this m1 plus m2 to this side, it will be 2m1 u1 by m1 plus m2 plus m2 minus m1 by m1 plus m2 of u2 is equal to v2. By changing the symbol, this equation we can get 2m1 u1 by m1 plus m2 minus of m1 minus m2 by m1 plus m2 of u2 is equal to v2. So, this is the equation of v2 where v2 is the final velocity of the second object of mass m2 after the collision. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.